Lattice 101 with Jim Rose. Today we're going to show you the, the proper method and importance of patching your I.O. stage boxes to your console so they talk correctly with each other. Every box has multiple ports on it and the ports raise incrementally in 24 channel increments based on the AES-50 attached to them. Every box itself though has to have a unique ID for the box itself on this console here, we've got a Pro 2, a Pro 2C. I've got this open right now and I'm showing you. You can see we have a red status and we have red blocks here. That's because this console is looking for a DL251 to be patched into that, these three ports. And it's looking for a, a DL251 with an ID of 1. If, if that box was patched into this console and it was correct, you would have a fully green screen like you have on this Pro 9. On this one here we have a 351 patched and the ports are correct for what it's looking for. Everything turns green and the status light, which is blinking green here, will always be on, in, in your face on the surface. That's a visual piece that you can take a look at the console on any page that you're on on here and your status will show you that something is either correct or out of whack. And on this console, it's because there's no box patched in, we know that it needs to have that added to it. On the boxes, the IDs of the box can be changed. On a 251, it has four available IDs on the fixed format box. On the modular boxes, there are up to 18 IDs you can select from. So as you add multiple boxes into your networked audio system, you can allocate which box is which based on the IDs, but these IDs need to be correct. I will let you know this, if you patch in an I.O. box to a console and your ID is not correct, or your port is not correct, it will show you an error message on your screen, but it will still pass audio data, you will lose your communication for control. The AS50 audio in the path will pass, but your console itself will not be able to control those, those head amps. So if you run into a situation where you find out that you know, it's not working. Maybe it's as simple as looking at your patching page and you have the wrong ID for your stage box, or you have the wrong ID, or you have a swapped Cat5 cable, which is putting an A to a B or a B to an A of the ports. A lot of times it's as simple as that. But uh, just make sure you've got these things in order and you should be able to be good to go with your uh, communication between your stage boxes and your consoles.